Alright guys, so this video is definitely new for my channel. I'm not even going to do an intro, I'm just going to cut right into it because I have a lot of steam to get off my chest and it's just, you know, this is just going to be how it is. I'm just going to put this video up. Um, the video is going to be about the new YouTube rules, so if you have an opinion after the video or even before the video, comment down below and, you know, let's chat about it because this honestly affects a lot of small YouTubers and I just, I have to get this, like, off my chest because, like, every time I think about it, I just get, I get so angry. So I wrote down a little list so that I don't make this video too long. So, yesterday... There was, um, there was news that broke out about YouTube, basically that really hinders small YouTubers or YouTubers that are very close to becoming a big YouTuber per se. And if you don't know what the rule is, the rule is, um, now in order to monetize your videos, so getting paid off YouTube, you have to have 4K hours of, within the past 12 months, so last year, of um you have to have 4k hours watch time hour uh, watch time hours and you have to have a thousand subscribers so at first i thought okay all i need is you know a thousand subscribers i'm at like 800 or something which i'm so happy for but now i dug a little deeper and i found out why this rule is going to hinder almost all small youtubers so the past rule was you needed only 10k views for your overall channel to monetize your videos. That is now out the window. So if you've working, if you worked or are working very hard to get those 10k views, that's out the window. The new rule is you now have to have 4k watch time hours and a thousand subscribers. Now, even though I'm fairly close to a thousand subscribers, it's still very hard to get that thousand. So that's the number one hinder, but the Hinder of the watch time hours is what I think a lot of people have confused, so I'm going to break it down. So, for your channel, you have your watch time minutes. That's what you can actually see. So, I know for me, for my overall channel, I have 60K minutes, which I honestly thought was good, but apparently to YouTube, that's, you know, pretty minimum. But... 4K watch time hours is not your, excuse me, it's not your watch time minutes. So if you see that you have maybe 5K watch time minutes, that's not equivalent to the number of hours you're supposed to have. Your hours are different. So to break it down, I have 60K um, minutes. So divide that by 60 in an hour. I over overall on my channel, I have a thousand hours but they're looking YouTube is looking at your um your videos over the past months I don't know if this includes well I think it it actually does include January because this rule does not go into into effect until February 20th so they give you a 30-day grace period but honestly it's probably no way in 30 days that YouTubers small YouTubers can get 240k minutes worth of watch time to equal 4k hours that's just impossible so if you want to look at your channel look at your overall watch time minutes um for from the past 12 months i know that there's a setting i think you go to your channel and then you go to revenue and when you click on the option of the last 12 months you're going to see your watch time watch time minutes and divide that by 60 60 and those are your hours so if your hours don't meet up to 4k you know you can't monetize anymore and it pisses me off because like everyone knows like even high up there uh brands or high up there youtubers they always say you don't make a lot of money off youtube which is 100 percent true but what pisses me off is the fact that me personally for my channel i've been working so hard i see so much growth i just hit the 10k and even after i hit the 10k my monetization was going kind of fast like i was making money and i was like wow even with me taking like a hiatus I'm still making money from my YouTube and it feels good to know that, you know, you finally get a little coin from what you invested. Like, 
YouTube is an investment, you know, a lot of YouTubers, they spend a lot of money on lighting, sound, equipment, they spend a lot of money to have like three cameras, like one for vlogging, one for makeup, and one for, I don't know, their, their family channel, like, YouTube, you put a lot into it, so now the fact that me, I was finally seeing the benefits of what YouTube actually was, or what I can get from YouTube, it felt good, but... YouTube was never about the money, but now it's really not about the money because it's like, you know, you even if like now that I've reached that and I feel really proud of my channel, it's really like a slap in the face. Like, well, yeah, you worked this hard, but we're going to take that money that you earned and just put it on pause. And I don't even know if it's going to be on pause or if it's going to be, you know, it just vanishes. Like, I don't know. And that sucks. But um yeah i got my own email i'm gonna read the exact email actually they send it to your youtube it's pretty long but it says we are announcing changes to youtube partner program within our while our goal, while our goal remains to keep the program open to as many channels as possible we recognize we need more safeguards blah 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 then it says what's changing and then it says under the new eligibility wow i said that all wrong <laughs> under the new requirements announced today your youtube channel india's diary is no longer available for monetization because it doesn't meet the new threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time within the past month past 12 months and a thousand subscribers as a result your monetization tools and features um basically will be gone february 20th 2018 unless you surpass the threshold in the next 30 days so when i saw that i was like well i worked all this hard to get them 10k views now all of a sudden it's just gone and i know i take breaks and stuff on my channel but i still saw growth but i know other channels other than mine that push out content almost every single day are it's finally you know, either they're getting a lot of watch time minutes or their channel is finally starting to grow and they are monetizing their videos and all that growth is there. But now it's like, close the door. You're going to have to work a little harder. Now, the only real positive I can honestly see from this is the fact that it eliminates those channels that only do YouTube for money. What is this? Anyway, it only it it eliminates them um, channels that are only for money. So it also eliminates those channels that have been like on a hiatus for months. Like I went through my subscriptions one day, and it's a lot of followers that I had that haven't put out videos in like two months, but they have like three k views on like each of the videos that they put out. So it eliminates those channels. But at the same time, it also eliminates those channels that are working hard to get that platform as bigger YouTubers. I don't really think in any way, shape, or form this affects any revenue from any big YouTuber with like 10K and up. I don't see that because, you know, 240K minutes is a lot of minutes and 4,000 hours is a lot. And my channel, when I actually looked at it from the past 12 months, I have 4,000 or 5,000 minutes and it was only like between 80 to 85 hours so it was like wow so I guess YouTube is making it like well okay if you want to make some money off YouTube you gotta work 10 times harder and I mean that's cool but that's that's just still like another slap in the face because you just made up the rule of 10k views now you're making up another rule and the 10k views thing happened like last year during during the summer, I think. I don't know. But I was talking to a lot of other YouTubers and a lot of people pointed out some things. I think I screenshotted it. Um Wow, somebody's TV is really loud. I think I kinda covered everything. I covered what it is i covered how you can look for it and also even if if you didn't receive an email most likely you're covered in the threshold so you know good job 
but if you've gotten the email, you know, I saw a lot of YouTube friends, they was working very hard, pushing out content, not even pushing out content, pushing out their um, channel links and telling people to, you know, subscribe and stuff. But it's like, even if you do that within the 30 days, if it's not genuine support, you know, I feel as though maybe YouTube could kind of see through that and just, it would, it would hinder your channel more than help your channel. So even if you, I don't know, pass the watch time within the next 30 days, have the thousand subscribers, yada, 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 YouTube is probably still going to look at that and then see it decrease afterwards and be like, you only did that for the monetization, so we're still going to take that away from you. One thing that I said yesterday with a YouTube friend, they said something about it, but I had commented, um, that's the thing, it hurts to read it. I was talking about the email. It's not even a, it's not even all about the money. It's the fact that all these milestones and obstacles to be noticed on YouTube because there's so many YouTubers out there. Most people who are paid are those, are those faces that are easily, what? That are easy to know and recognize, but YouTube makes it hard for your channel to be the next one on the platform and recognize through the talents of YouTube. That comes into the me having the mindset, which most YouTubers should have, is it's not about the money, it's about the passion. It is a pure slap in the face. That's what really pisses me off. It is a pure slap in the face because most people, like I said, invest a lot into YouTube. But if they, if they can't find the support, it's not even about your camera quality or anything like that. Because I know five YouTubers off the top of my head that I follow that have like really, really low... Um, views on their channel but they have the best quality ever it's just because they just can't find that support or they're probably not putting themselves out there but overall it's like it's never about the money it's about the fact that you work everybody works hard on youtube and everybody should have the mindset on youtube everybody should eat but now youtube is like everybody's not going to eat you're all going to starve unless you come up with these views which is sad because there are some people who do possibly want to make a life out of youtube and you know with all the rules it's just like well what's the point but um, like I was saying, it's harder now to build a platform. And what I was basically saying to my friend, my YouTube friend was, if most small YouTubers have the mindset, it's not about the money. The money is the benefit that will come later. It's easy to recognize those big YouTubers who you know are getting paid through YouTube, whether it be makeup or you know, family channels or whatever the case may be. And I feel as though most YouTubers, they want that almost same platform or they want that subscribers. They want that that loyalty with their channel. But YouTube is consistently making it harder for people to achieve that platform because mentally, all these rules are just going to hinder, not hinder, but they're just going to make people, in my opinion, think like, well, you know, I'm working all this hard, I've been on YouTube for such and such time, and, you know, they keep implementing all these things, why not just give up? I feel as though all these rules are going to give small YouTubers that want to grow kind of like a mental, it's going to mess up their mental in a sense, because they're reaching for that platform like other big YouTubers, but every time they think they're close to you know, having a nice little golden line, it's like YouTube's like, no, you have to do this, 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 and donate blood. So, overall, it's like, I'm mad. I'm, a, I'm basically mad because I just started monetizing my videos, like, at least, I think before my Vlogmas, so... I think October, November, around that time, and I was, you know, I wasn't about to cash out, but I'm, I was making, like, a good amount of money to me that was just like, ooh, okay, I'm making a little money off my YouTube, finally, and now it's like, mm, your, your work wasn't all that great, so we're gonna have to take that away, and you're gonna have to work harder, 
but it's like how much harder can you work like there are people who do want to make money off of their hobby like they everybody doesn't want youtube as a full-time career but they're making it harder for small youtubers to even consider this a full-time career so that's all i had to say but comment down below if you have anything to say because you know it's a stupid rule it's more bad than good so yeah comment down below how you feel because you know i'm still uh asking my youtube friends how they feel they're telling me their opinion even even one friend she told me um her channel is this is dana nicole she was like she's about to cash out but it's stupid because it's like she gets her first youtube check but then it's like she gets no more checks after she cashes out so it's like you know you worked all this you know hard but we're gonna have to this is your only check and that's it you're gonna have to work harder so it's just like damn like youtube youtube is becoming really strict and at first i thought the 10k thing was enough but even glamazon tay my favorite youtuber ever said that she was having problems with her revenue too so well not recently but in the past so it's just like youtube's just all over the place but comment down below I'm glad I can get that steam off my chest because it was hindering me last night. Like, when I got that email, I was like, what? What do you mean? Give me my little money and then we can call it a day. Why are you treating me like this? But then I saw, like, everybody was getting the email and I was like, yeah. So all them small YouTubers down here, you know. Just gotta work harder we really gotta support each other we really gotta watch so that everybody can grow youtube is a huge platform and they want to give out they want to be stingy with their money so we gotta work hard to get up to that platform and the last thing what the last thing another thing that makes me mad about this is even though for the youtubers that don't meet that new threshold they're cutting off your monetization but they're still going to put ads on your channel. So you're, let's say hypothetically, like I know for one of my videos, I have like 6K views on it. And it's my fastest growing video. All the ads that I put on there that I was getting paid for, and that was where most of my revenue was coming, that's going to come to a halt. So all those ads are just going to be there, but I'm not getting any money. So it's like, what? But, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm just, I'm glad you could hear my rants. And I'm glad you could hear me get that off my chest. And, yeah, I will see you all in my next video. And, like I said, this is going as is. So, hopefully, I should edit this out, but I'm not going to. Something just happened, but I will see you all in my next video.